Hello crafty ladies. I'm stopping by with a quick tips and tricks video that I wanted to share with you on some customizable things that I had done. I'm actually working on my full size journal, the Sweet Elegance Journal from Calico Collage. And when I was doing that today, I'm getting ready to put it together and I decided that I wanted a certain color of kind of like a hole reinforcement because I think I'm going to do it as a three ring binder this journal so I decided that I wanted them to match like I said and I had purchased these at the dollar store uh, so for a dollar I got 544 of these hole reinforcers but as you can see they're white and the journal is multicolored and I wanted some either tan ones or some brown ones or a mix or some purple or blue. So I decided to go through and I took my inks and ink pads. Some of the ink pads I have, not, I have more than this, but this is just a few that I had real quick. And I wanted to go through and kind of customize them, like I said. So this is some of the things that I came up with and I wanted to share with you really quickly. So this is the pinks and one of the purples that I did. And I just basically got, this is just regular copy paper that I folded and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, and I folded it in half as you can see. And then I just, this is a, the Tim Holtz Distress ink. And uh, basically it's this ink here. Um, the vintage photo that's a popular brown from Tim Holtz and basically I just stamped it you know I took it and just stamped it across there but then I saw that this pattern that was coming up and I thought wow I'm gonna keep these because you girls know that I don't like to waste anything I like to use it all so I'm actually gonna use this I think in the journal I may tear up some of this for a tuck spot or a pocket so I'm not sure yet but um, I'll go through some of the rest of them because once I got started I tend to do a lot if I'm gonna do uh, one thing instead of just doing like just the one sheet and then using them and be done since I already had everything out because that's a lot of the problems you know we as crafters were hoarders of types you know we're all guilty of it I know I am and so when it comes time for me to get out the inks or something that I'm doing I want to go ahead and do a whole bunch of them and put them up so I can build my stash so that's kind of what I did these are a little bit darker here and I did these uh, and then when I I saw that it was kind of still wet I decided to go and just rub a piece of paper across it because I don't want to waste that ink but I didn't want to get it everywhere and I kind of wanted them to dry so then I saw that this pattern came up and I thought wow I could do something with this too so of course I'll keep and use that and then these will probably go in the journal because I use three different colors of purple or four actually. I use these three and then um, this Stampin' Up! ink pad that I recently purchased. And then this one is three colors of the pink. And then as you can see the patterns, you know, I just kind of moved it over a little bit to kind of get a different pattern as I was inking. And I really, this extra paper I really love it it's going to come in handy for backgrounds or like I said tuck spots or anything in the journals but this um, these are some of the blues that I used and this is three of the little ink pads and then one of the Stampin' Up! ink pads and then I decided I wanted some more of the purple but I wanted to do it a little bit differently and I don't mind that it has as you see like that purple ink pad is not quite as juicy as some of the other ones so it kind of left lines and stuff on it but I love that I think that it makes it unique and they're not you know all one color and so it's really customizable for what I'm going to do and again the patterns you know are just I think they're really cool so I did quite a few of these like I said since I had everything out and this is believe it's this uh, uh, river rock I think is what it is yeah and I thought it was green but it's supposed to be or actually I thought it was going to be like a cream color and it came out like a kind of green or what have you but I still liked it and 
there again is the pattern from when I stamped it. Now this is the something celery or yeah, certainly celery. And so it is green, so you can see the difference. So that does look more like a taupe color now up next to that green. And there's the pattern for that one. And I, I when I did all of these ink pads and, and stuff, I remembered, oh, hey, you know, I have some of those alcohol markers. So I went ahead and did the rest of these, and then I pulled out my alcohol markers, those markers that I found at Michael's for $3.99. Uh, they were on sale, and I know some people have been lucky enough to find them, and some people's Michael's didn't have them at all. Some people's Michael's did have them, and they were like $4.99 or $9.99 a package, but I got super lucky that day, and like I said, I ended up buying one of every package that they had, and so when I pulled these out, I thought, well, I'm going to try that. Now, it's a little bit brighter than I was anticipating, but I really liked it. So I may use some of these too, and you can see the difference. Excuse the ink all over my hands. You can see that I was working today. Um, but I blended these, and I just basically took it, and I, as you can see, I just kind of scribbled it one way, and then I turned the paper and scribbled it another way, and, you know, again, I'll end up using this paper for something else because I hate to waste, and, you know, there's no need because it's unique and it just kind of personalizes any of the items that you use. But I really like this. This was the set of the blues that it was all of these markers here. Plus, oh, I need to go clean that there. Plus the blue out of this package. So I just basically what I did was I went, they're numbered as you see, and I just went in the row, I used the B1, then the B2, then the B7, and then I used the B10, which is the blue in the other package, and then I used the B14, uh, I'm sorry, then I used the, um, this BG10, and then this B14, and I just did it all in extra, you know, each one in a different direction, and then I took the lighter one and went back over it and blended it, but I really liked how these came out, so I could see, like, using these on a pocket letter under the C or what have you, maybe for some bubbles or, you know, just some different things. I think that color palette would go really well, and again, I'll use these sheets you know, just for whatever. And these are some of the other ones that I did. I used the blues, I mean, I'm sorry, the greens, and then one of the blue-green that you can see there. And then I went over with one of the greens and then a, a darker green, so you can see the, the shade difference. It's because when I went to blend it, I used a lighter green here and a darker green here. And then here was also, I just turned it over and rubbed it onto the paper and I came up with this pattern so it was really neat and then I thought well what if I blend the ink pads and the markers and I kind of liked it too this came up with maybe like a sand color I could see like on a beach PL or anything this would be good to use and I liked the way this turned out too so that's my tip and trick for today and my quick video stash um, and again, like I said, I bought this at the dollar store. So for a dollar, I got 544 and you could use ink sprays or inks or, you know, ink pads, liquid inks, um, we Costella. You could use just about anything to personalize whatever your project is. So I think this is a super tip and I hope that everybody enjoys it and can't wait to see. And if you use it, please, uh, tag me and let me know that, uh, you use the tip and trick and that would be super to see don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and be on the lookout like I said I'm gonna have a giveaway here pretty soon I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do but when I hit a certain mark then we're gonna have a giveaway so thanks a lot ladies and I will see you soon happy crafting